uh-uh, don't swipe now, come back here. Hey, ladies, did you know that paternity fraud is now a crime? Yeah, let's talk about House Bill 2689, because they locking y'all up. I'm going to make my money one way or another. Even if that means locking you up, I'll make my money off of you being locked up. Please peep the game. Oh, yeah. And this hookup culture? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a wrap. Because they're making it so you can no longer get child support off of one night stands. If that man wasn't in your life, let me tell you. Not only are they making it mandatory for the man to <clears throat> get a DNA test before he signs a birth, birth certificate, but now they're like, look, you're not going to be able to get any money off of this man if he was not actively, long term, a part of your everyday life. Oh, yeah, it's true, too. And if I could add on to this bill, you know what? If all these fathers are paying these high amounts in child support, why not give the child to the father? Yeah, that's coming too. I mean, what you think? I'm going to be honest enough to admit that a man would probably be more capable of raising a child on his own than a woman. Hey folks, this is Jeff for this week with JTT. Hey, if you've seen the video before, think I was kidding? Yeah. All I'm going to add on to it is preach, preach, preach. Your days, ladies, of, like I said before, cheating on your man, getting pregnant, and making your good man pay for the kid, those days are done. As the gentleman also said, though, if, you go, if the man is going to pay all this money for child support, he should get the kid. As Reverend Slick from WWE would say, turn off the lights, party's over.